since I got into this mode about my early childhood, I'm going to explain to you more about what exactly went on in the Belgrade so that somebody's not going to have doubts about what I was at Belgrade at three, four month age uh, and or I was not in Belgrade at that age. First of all, this here is the proof. If you're going to watch the video, this is the key. This is the key. I have submitted one here inside the video. It's explained. Now I'm going to do I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to do a little bit extra. I'm going to boost this claim into into more proofs I'm going to submit to you about MK Ultra in Belgrade. And then this girl here, this is Tanya Fayon. And she's about my age. I'm 52. In December, I'm going to be 53. And she was 53 in May. We both were born in 1971. Uh, she is external, uh, what is it, minister. Uh, yeah. Here in Slovenia, deputy prime minister of Slovenia. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that's she Minister of Foreign and European Affairs in of Slovenia that's she Deputy Prime Minister of Slovenia Zunani Minister uh, this guy's just uh, love to switch seats so much and so easily they do it they do it it's so smooth uh, that they don't these are actually these are clowns it, it's best uh, it's like this in respect to Tanya Fayon and myself uh, going further with this giving you more idea about the Belgrade you know whenever I was brought to India monks diapers yeah, it was not only in India I'm talking about the Buddhism now here. Um, there you go. And even less than that, uh, the Indian politicians dress themselves like this. I would frequently met. Um, this, this kind of stuff. Um, but I'm actually talking about some other stuff. Um, I am talking about them wearing more or less like this, just wrapped in a white, uh, you know, that's, these are the kind of dress they have. And what I would continue to be delivered to India throughout the years and would meet even the politicians, whatever it would be, uh, it was really um, it was really strange for me, extremely, extremely, extremely strange, and uh, nobody really could get me. What the fuck goes on with me? Sometimes I would look at them, and I was thinking myself. Um, You know, and and I just didn't get. I got them all right, but I didn't get myself because it felt like we know each other from somewhere. 
during MK Ultra, and I was looking at them. They would bring me to Asia, whatever country, and they had these monks everywhere that were involved in MK Ultra. And whether that be Nepal or that be Myanmar or whatever country. And I just, um, I just didn't get myself. Think about where do we know each other exactly from so well? And what I meant by this is that, and I did mention this in my previous videos already, uh, they would place us in Belgrade in a crib with just nothing other than diapers. They didn't even have diapers back then. They had something else, you know, that planitza. I don't know how you say that, but it was different. And exactly this is the way exactly we look like this. This was a crib that... Uh, they would put like many, many babies inside, you know. You don't put one baby inside, you know. But it's a crib that, not like this, but something like this, yeah. Except that this thing in Belgrade they had, this was a mass great crib. Like... Gonna do it like this. It was like this, you know, like like the one you see right there. Uh, but it was open, you know. Uh, and it wouldn't be one baby, you know. Ah, what the hell? Like this. But it would be more of us like this, you know. This is the way this this operated in Belgrade. Uh, they would clean us and shit and uh, bye bye and that's it and let's go. Uh, certain activities and and you know the stuff I'm going to talk to you about today in this video, and this is the way it went. Much of it I already discussed in this video right here. However, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this stuff so that we discuss each other about more. You know, this here is a Tanya Fayon. And she was involved in this case, coming to Belgrade, since she was very little. I don't know if she was a baby. I don't think she was a baby. She was not a baby. She was a child when she came to Belgrade. And she came to Belgrade like a little queen. She came to Belgrade through Milan Kuchan, who was her father, uh, her real father in a sense of MK Ultra. He took care of her like a little queen. Uh, all the children from Slovenia. And this is what the difference is, because it was enormous scumbaggery during MK Ultra, for which they claimed me that Josip Brostito, people like Borut Pahor, Uff, Robert Golob, Milan Kuchan, uh, they all claimed that, that I was selected, handpicked by Josip Brostito to replace him, to be his replacement. Slovenian police... Novo Mesto investigators demanded from me that I was handpicked by Josip Brostito to become his bodyguard. Josip Brostito did talk about these things. He talked about the bodyguardism. The reality is that Josip Brostito was a murderer. This was a blood-colded killer. Josip Brostito murdered numerous people. He sent numerous people to die inside of the jail. He imprisoned political people, sent them to, it's called Goliotok in Croatia. Josip Brostito killed, executed numerous 
World War II collaborators, German-Italian collaborators, white guards, throughout Yugoslavia, mostly Slovenian and mostly Croatian, some also from Serbia. Josip Broz Tito exterminated Italian minority from Adriatic coast. Josip Broz Tito exterminated German minority from Slovenia and he managed to exterminate German minority in Hungarian minority from Vojvodina, from Serbia. Josip Broz Tito was a pedophile. Josip Broz Tito used on me personally ECT. Josip Broz Tito locked me up into psychiatric hospitals where they did the stuff on me. And he was the one who presented electroconvulsive therapy methods from psychiatric hospitals he introduced them literally into the grammar school Novo Mesto even this is how far we came grammar school Novo Mesto was known as the most the toughest with the highest expectation grammar school in the Novo Mesto special kind of school well the only special thing was ECT with which even not only Anton Buchar, Anton Buchar was my razarednik, as we said, this is like a main teacher from the first grade to the eighth grade. That's strange, no, isn't it? But this is the way it functioned in grammar school Novo Mesto. One teacher always had the surveillance of everything, was always present in everything, and that was Anton Buchar. He did a lot of ECT and he involved other teachers in it. But maybe the craziest thing was that um, a maintenance guy from the school, there were two maintenance guys. One maintenance guy was so violent that he, he had to leave the school. He was physically assaulting me all the time. Had to leave the school, I think, when I was in the fourth grade. And might have been also the guy who also got his hands on ECT. They did have a portable ECT machines in the school, which the other houseman, like they say, like a maintenance guy, uh, got to try on me, according to his own words, on two occasions. But this houseman, this, this uh, maintenance guy, cracked crazy jokes with me trying to remind me about what the teachers were doing according to his words so the truth is somewhere there fact of the matter is that this is what went on at grammar school Novo Mesto and it was not by coincidence I knew Voynich I knew the psychiatric hospital almost since I was a baby this was Josip Broz Tito so it was at no wonder Josip Broz Tito demanded from me at age three to acknowledge Josip Broz Tito that there was no MK Ultra that went on until my, my age two. Um, knowing that he was doing such a practice when video recording himself, audio recording himself uh, with assistance of the Serbian psychiatrists uh, is lying in my face. taking a lies as a words of God to you uh, was for aristocrats such as Josip Broz Tito something that he simply expected. It was more than his majesty. It was a God that dressed himself in white and was seen as such in Slovenia amongst my own people. I don't care about Croatia and Serbia and Macedonia whatever uh, Kosovo, Montenegro, whatever, how they saw Josip Broz Tito, but Josip Broz Tito was God in Slovenia. And if he lied in your face, you ought to see yourself in it. 
whether you were a baby or a military career or whatever the fuck you were, you were to go, yes, sir, knowing that he's lying to you so that he could record and video record and record himself in front of you to have a proof against you. This was Yossi Brostito, a real Yossi Brostito. When it comes to Tanya Fayon and myself and others from Slovenia, the differences were profound. Each and every one from every country in the world, including India and whatever country they had, Soviet Union, they had their personal psychiatrists, um, psychologists, politology, politicians, uh, well with a strong background, psychiatrists and psychologists that would accompany them. Sometimes it was not one psychiatrist, psychologist that accompanied the group of kids. Sometimes they had two, three more psychiatrists, psychologists. I faced the military of the psychiatrists and psychologists inside of the Belgrade when I was a baby. It started when I was a baby. And every one of this to become a leader, not necessarily even a president or uh, a minister, but whoever they considered could potentially be a politician, get his political career and track in the future. They provided for this person. They provided for this person a personal psychiatrist, a personal psychologist who would act between Josip Brostito and individual from another country or countries as a, as a tension reliever, very kind, super kind, and also as an advisor. So when he would be facing the questions with others from other countries, when they would interact, they would have their personal psychiatrists, personal psychologists that would advise these children on how to see things, even take time to sit with them, explain them, and then move on with the conversation. This is how they groom Queen Tanya Fayon, and that's basically how they groomed me. There was no such thing like bodyguard and or presidential position or any kind of position for me. Josip Brostito prepared death for me, not only inside of the psychiatric hospitals, but also inside of the military installations throughout the Yugoslavia where I was severely tortured. Uh, it was a complete contrast, a complete nothing to do with one another other than these people practicing exactly what they were able to observe, watch, interact, learn, to boss, to guard, to, um, you know, to, uh, you know, a total, I don't know, it goes beyond slavery, so I don't know, this is a prison, this was a jail, this Yugoslavia was a jail. This was a psychiatric asylum like Slovenia is today, still is in my case right out and open. It's too bad for Slovenia now that people get to watch, hear and see from around the world. And I'm talking about the psychiatrists, psychologists, politicians, people who eventually make choices to learn about what this little Slovenia is all about. I was just talking to myself today about how they proceeded after 2010 when I already pointed them out the existence of MKL Troy case and they still would not agree with it, they still would not accept and instead they proceeded to throw me into psychiatric hospital, uh, load me with the psychiatric medications which were not psychiatric medications but were literally poison used to cause completely unbearable pain, suffering with idea that I will just relax myself uh, rather than, you know, put up a fight like I did. It's amazing because I was so heavy, I was so overweighted. And when they did with the psychiatric medications, it just didn't happen 
what the case was with other people. I would just go out and start contrary to it. With great difficulty because of the pain that the psychiatric medications would cause me, still I continued to fight, struggle, walk, exercise, which was totally contrary to their expectations. And so we go on for the fuck of it, for the hell of it, because this is how they want it to reveal more true about Slovenia, about who the Slovenian, what Slovenian nation is, what this little nation in the heart of Europe really is. If you ask me, this is the most criminal, most disgusting nation in Europe. More criminal than what we see a dictatorship in North Korea is taking place, or in Iran, or any totalitarian country that you heard about. You're going to say, oh no, that's not the case. Well, that is unfortunately the case because of a, such a high profile that applies to me. Uh, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's actually unbelievable that these people dare to continue after 2011 and even throw me into a psychiatric hospital. So I like it this way. We're going to talk more about it. We're going to make the world more aware about what's going on and so that people can learn more about also not only about MK Ultra, but about this little swinery here, this nation, Slovenian nation. Milan Kočan, Mechen Schlok, pa najvecha svinja na svetu, kar jih je bilo. Ne, mehna, ne, ne, ne velika svinja, ampak najvecha svinja od svin, kar jih je bilo na, na svetu. Mechen Schlok, ampak velika svinja, najvecha svinja, pravzaprav. Tu je pa tudi Slovenija. And that also is Slovenia. It's not only about Milan Kuchan, a small man, a big swine, as they call him, but about the people itself, about the collective human conscience in Slovenia as it is. No country could afford stuff like this. Not United States of America, no any other country. Can you afford to have a case like this? You're going to be fucking discussing about what government does. You just want, don't want to admit. And you want more? You want more? You want more psychiatry? You want to talk more about it? You want work to learn more about what goes on? There is no country like this. There is no fucking country like this. This kind of stuff is used when you take the country into a totalitarianism. When you take the country to... To, with the idea to make a Soviet Union, number two is when you do this stuff like this. No country can afford, not even the biggest countries can afford shit like this. Not even a Soviet Union, they could afford stuff like that. In Slovenia, obviously, they can afford stuff like this. So they like it, I love it. The difference between the Tanya Fayon and myself and others who travel to the Belgrade, the contrast between the us, it couldn't be greater. It couldn't be bigger. She was going to be a princess, a queen, in a sense of a communist elite, socialist, if you like, call it elite. I was groomed to be, to be killed, to be murdered. I was groomed to be the worst person in the world, worst, the worst possible that one can see in a human being. That's all I'm going to say for this video. If you still think that I was not in a Belgrade, I remember this people in Belgrade Alexander Vucic that would take me to, to school where they had me supposedly uh, and some properties where he would insist that you know they would basically answering their own questions with idea uh, uh, to use a psychiatry further to intimidate to harass to use the system don't even think about think brain kill you in exactly the same fashion as electroconvulsive therapy does, except that you know, fear is also a killer. It's not electroshocks that have been used, but it's other kind of psychiatric terror. Terror that you actually experience before you experience one on your skin, and then after, during what you experience on your skin, once you're thrown in the psychiatric hospital, and afterwards. The terror, again, psychiatric terror was used because I was hospitalized twice in 2012 and 2015, almost 2015. Tatiana Prokshul, Serbian Chetnik, Tatiana Prokshul was so technical about it that she 
hospitalized me just before 2015 so that it would be 2014 but not 2015 but the shit went on through 2015 and so they extended themselves they give themselves more period more time over the course of the time uh, to cause more damage more harm more terror and then by using whatever they created to start to intimidate to harass after the second release again the same thing so you know they are a special kind this is slovenia uh, a small country a super big swinery right here in the heart of the europe today in 2024 it is they know nothing they know nothing about anything they don't know absolutely anything about it they are a member of united nations imagine this swinery that lasted as long as she is of the age against me this extermination procedure they are they eventually are a member of united nations and they are a member of the european union and a member of the nato despite running this type of genocide against what should be seen as a native If I considered myself as a native, Slovenian, as I used to, and it was really expensive for me to consider myself as a Slovenian, because when I considered myself as a Slovenian, the torture was even worse. They, I was forbidden, prohibited from seeing myself as a Slovenian during MK Ultra. While at the real time, it was a different type of shaming that went on. If I don't see myself today as a Slovenian, I wouldn't see a human inside of the mirror. That of a big disgrace this is for Slovenia, for this Slovenian country. So if you think, if you dare to even think, to say something, that I was not there, some way, somehow, it was so strange when I was meeting these Buddhist monks throughout Asia, these people in diapers that reminded me of some different times. Because, you know, you don't go around the world in your diapers, you know, you just don't go around the world in your diapers. But I did. And it was strange when I could affiliate myself to them see them through a totally different light i was even asking myself as crazy it might sound to you i was even asking myself if somebody didn't steal me from india literally or some other location from asia when i was looking at the way they were dressed when i was finding my my way to them when they would be delivering me to them when i was already when i became already a teenager and grown up and I was looking at them and they were looking at me, they were thinking, what are you thinking? I, I was confused sometimes about when I listened to them, when I looked at them. I wasn't even sure anymore what the fuck I was thinking. I wasn't even sure about anymore what the fuck I was thinking. Jovan Kabros was a nurse. Jovan Kabros knew about this early child here. She knew about she had a team of nurses. They were changing diapers. They know how to take care. They produced us like on a fucking mass scale. Like, like you go to the fucking factory, basically. Boy, it looked like a factory. When I think about now, this school, all this stuff that went on, this is just... Uh, <laughs> well, exactly the way I described in this video. This is, this was a Belgrade, this was a Moscow. This was a Russian in Moscow. Russians that were right to the Novomesto school, to the Gurm school, that would permanently move themselves, live inside of the Novomesto, with the idea to kill God in me. And for what I was suggested by my schoolmates, it's because of you, it's teachers insisted to my schoolmates, that I need to be killed, because if I wouldn't be killed, they're going to suffer. 
It's going to be the same done to them. This is how it works the politically. This Anton Butcher insisted that I needed to be killed, that I need to be wasted basically, so that lives can be saved. This is the way he went. This was a Gurum, this was a Snow Nashola Gurum, MK Ultra, and so on, right here in Slovenia. Well, they don't know anything about, they don't remember, they don't know nothing about any of this. That's what they say. They don't remember anything. And I'm crazy. I'm insane. I'm branded as mentally ill. It's something also they told me they're going to do. Because I'm a Nazi sympathizer. So that I can feel how was it with Jews and with our people who were exiled to the extermination camps to the Germany. Never mind that my own family was already at the train station listed as good to go to extermination camp during, uh, during the World War II to Germany or Poland, wherever. Yeah, never fucking mind any of that. 